in lesson four, we're going to reuse lots of what we created in lesson one. We're going to enhance the look and feel of the grid view using ASP.NET. We're going to insert into the grid view with an Ajax modal pop-up using ASP.NET and C Sharp. We're going to edit, update, delete, filter grid view data using ASP.NET and C Sharp. And we're going to add a required field validator and a regular expression validator using ASP.NET. In part one, we're going to add header style, edit row style, color, grid lines, and padding, row style, alternating row style, and selected row style to the grid view. In Windows Explorer, navigate to where you saved your lesson one, copy and paste it into the same directory. Rename it to lesson four. In Visual Studio, Open your Lesson 4 website. So let's go and change the namespaces to Lesson 4. Let's run it. Let's open our default.aspx file. And within the grid view tags, let's add a header style. This will be blue. Next, let's add the edit row style. It's going to make this one blue green. In the, inside of the grid view tag, let's add back color. Border color. And grid lines. And we'll add some border width. And cell padding. Between the open and closing grid view tags, let's add the row style. Back color. It'll be a light gray. Let's also add the alternating row style. Back color will be light gray.
let's add the selected row style. It's going to be a blue green. And within the open grid view tag, opening grid view tag, we're going to add the width equals 800. Let's run it. In part two, we're going to install and register the Ajax toolkit. We're going to create the panel, style sheet, and configure the Ajax modal pop-up. And we're going to create a method to add new company data to the database. To install and register your Ajax Toolkit, open your Solution Explorer and add an ASP.NET bin folder. Right-click on the bin folder, add existing item, navigate to your where you have your Ajax DLL, and add it. Next, let's open our default.asp.x file and register assembly Ajax control toolkit namespace equals Ajax control toolkit I'm going to give it a tag prefix Let's create an image directory. And add an image to it, or add company image. Let's add a script manager, which is required to run the Ajax toolkit. ID. And run at server. Under the grid view, within the form tags, let's create our table. Add the image here. Call it add company image. Run it. And the image URL equals let's go pick it. Images directory. 